I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about polar coordinates. In problem number 21, I'd like to express the Cartesian coordinate 2, 2 in polar form in two different ways. All right, so um, what I have here is I have the Cartesian coordinate 2, 2. So here's my x-axis, my y-axis, I go out two, I go up two, and I get my point two, two in Cartesian. So here's two, two. All right, I would like to express that as an r and a theta. So what I know right off the bat, just looking at my picture is this distance is what I call r, and this distance, uh, well, this angle is what I call theta. All right, so I need to figure out what r and theta are. Uh, one thing that's going to be helpful for me is one of the conversion formulas between polar and Cartesian coordinates. And one of those car uh, conversion formulas is the following, that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay. This is going to help me because I know what x is and I know what y is. I want to know what r is. All right, And you can see that this is the, just the quadratic equation where this is my x value, this is my y value, I have a right triangle, I want to know the hypotenuse, and so I just get that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Uh, if I plug in x and y, I get that r squared equals x, which is 2, 2 squared plus y, which is 2, 2 squared. In other words, r squared is equal to 4 plus 4, which is 8. And so r is equal to the square root of 8, which is otherwise known as 2 square roots of 2. All right, so I've got my r. That's very good. I think that we could look at the picture here and guess what theta is, that theta is pi over four, but uh, what if we didn't know? So we should think about that. Well, there's another equation for polar that would help me out in this case, and that is that uh, theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. And the reason for this is that if you put the tangent on the other side, you get the tangent of theta is basically the opposite over the adjacent side. The opposite side over the adjacent side is tangent of theta, so theta must be tan inverse of y over x. That makes some sense. And we just plug in y over x. Well, y is two and x is two, so I get that this is tan inverse of two divided by two which is just tan inverse of one. Tan inverse of one is pi over four. So I get that theta must be pi over four. All right, so I've got uh, that r is two root two, and I've got that theta is pi over four. So if I wanted to write this one way, I get that r theta is equal to uh, 2 root 2 comma pi over 4. Okay, That's one way that I could represent it. There are lots of ways. Uh, a way that I could represent it other than this is I could add 2 pi to this guy and write it as 2 root 2, uh, what would it be, 9 pi over 4? That would be a second way. Uh, another way is I could write it's negative 2 root 2, 5 pi over 4. Or I could add another 2 pi to this and write it as 2 square root 2 times pi over 4 plus any amounts of 2 pi's. So there's lots of different ways to represent this. Here are two, and that's what we're looking for.